What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to put your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad into recovery mode in iOS 7. Currently I'm running on iOS 7.0.4 and the reason why is because I have my iPhone jailbroken. So, I can't update to the latest one which is 7.1.1 but it still works on that version. So right now I'm going to show you that Cydia is up and running. For this uh, method does not erase your jailbreak. So, right now I have my packages downloaded my change page and then the home page so everything is good and running so the first step is you want to turn off your iPhone iPod touch or iPad so we're gonna go ahead and slide to power off and then we're gonna wait for the wheel to finish to fully turn off Alright, while we're waiting, you want to make sure that the other end of the SYN cable is connected to a computer. Alright, once it's fully turned off, you want to make sure that any SYN cable connected to your iDevice is disconnected. For the next, it requires you to hold down the home button, connect the SYN cable, and still hold on to the home button until you get the screen. Like so. So keep holding on to the home button until you see the connect to iTunes screen. And that's how you put your iDevice into recovery mode. Now in case you want to take it off from recovery mode, all you do is hold on the power button and the home button up until you see the Apple logo. So let's do that right now. Alright, so once you get the Apple logo, you can let go of the power button and the home button. Your iDevice should be turning on like normal. But in case you do get the connect to iTunes screen, again, I'll have a tutorial in the video description that will show you how to get out of the infinite recovery mode loop. But for now, we're going to let our iDevice simply turn on and we're going to wait. Alright, so now we're going to slide to unlock, and there you have it, that's how you take your iDevice out of recovery mode, I'm going to show you that Cydia is working fine, alright, and that's pretty much it, so in case you do get that connect to iTunes screen, like I said, I'll have a video tutorial in the video description, but for now, I hope you guys liked this video, if you did, please click the like button, if you have more questions, post a comment, and if you want to see more videos like these, please subscribe, thanks.